Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to, I'm gonna do a mukbang slash cook with me video. How exciting. I haven't done one of these in a long time. So um, today we are going to be making potato balls. Um, I don't know if you guys know of uh, like a lot of mukbangers that like are like really up there right now. Um, Kim Tai is like one of my favorites. I also watch her beauty channel, but I do watch her mukbangs too. Um, Kim Tai um, actually did a video on these potato balls that she made and it inspired me to have it in the video because I want to try it. I want to make it. I really love her. She's really awesome and she really throws down like when it comes to eating food. That's why I like watching her. Call me weird. Yes, I watch people eat, but it's not like disgusting eating. It's kind of just like it entertains me because first of all, I get to see new foods and it intrigues me and makes me want to try some for myself. So it's kind of like I don't know, I like mukbangs, okay? So any of you guys that like to watch mukbangs, I'm gonna put Kim Tai's channel down in the description and I'm gonna put her video about the potato balls in the description as well. Um, so today, um, she makes two kinds, one with sausage and cheese in it, but I'm just gonna make the, um, the cheese ones. Um, yes, I know, I'm not really supposed to be eating dairy right now, but I'm not really right now following my diet as of the moment, so, um, but, you know, we're gonna make it anyway. So what you're gonna need is um, crouton. Uh, I don't know which one, I can't remember which one she used, but I just, I just saw the Olive Garden one, so I just went and got those. Some potatoes, obviously, and then some string cheese, mozzarella cheese, obviously. And we're gonna chop this up and then we're gonna make it. But anyway, you'll see in the video. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you. So um, right now, I am going to, I'm going to peel the potato. And I wash them afterwards, obviously. It's so good to be back making videos. Um, um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, but I've decided a schedule. Um, I'm going to be doing videos every Monday and Thursday, every week. So um, be on the lookout for that. And um, every now and then I'll probably post something random. If it's like a little vlog or something or free doing something, I'll probably vlog that. It probably won't be with the schedule, but um, for the most part, my content will be up Mondays and Thursdays. So, you know, look out for that. I really need one of those like potato peelers that like they're like wider. You can just go like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the wider kind. Right now I just have these. These are like my, when I first moved out and lived in my apartment in college, like these were mine like since then. Crazy, right? By the way, I'm putting this on the cutting board. You can't really see much of the cutting board, but I'm just moving the potato peels in here and then I'm just gonna dump it when it gets full. So we're going to peel the potatoes and we're going to dice them up and uh, boil them like we're making mashed potatoes. Um, so um, it's going to be a little bit till I get a couple of nice sized potatoes. So um, we're just going to zoom right through this. So be right back. All right, so I peeled all the potatoes. So I'm gonna wash them real fast and then I'm just gonna chop them up. All right, so I washed them. Now we gotta chop them up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put them back in the bowl when I'm done chopping. This is not the knife to use, but you know, it does the job. Ugh, I'm about to cut myself. Oh no, I cut myself. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna do big chunks 
only because I have small potatoes in here and I don't want some to cook faster than the, the others. So I'm just gonna do big pieces. That way it has enough time to all cook the, at the same time. So. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I know I am. We went out all day, we were walking. Um, I got new sandals. Um, Matt got them for me, which was very sweet of him. But uh, I wore them out and my feet are killing me right now because uh, I forget, I haven't got myself new shoes in forever. <laughs> so um, breaking in the shoes is kind of like, I'm not used to that. So I'm trying to get used to them, I'm trying to get them to form to my foot. Cause right now they're like rubbing against me, my foot and oh, my feet hurt, but you know, they're cute. On the last potato. And the water's boiling. I had my water boil while I was doing this. So I didn't have to wait for it so it's gonna be nice and hot so you can cook all right so there's my potatoes here so i'm gonna put this in the pot and let it boil for a little bit until it gets mushable as they say okay now the the potatoes are in the pot so we're gonna go ahead and start slicing these up um so they're in little like not cubes really, but they're just in small enough pieces because what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put a piece of this in in the uh, in the potato ball. That way when you bite into it, it'll be cheesy inside. All right, so I think this is enough cheese for now. I'm pretty sure I can warm. Mm. I just love cheese. What you will need now, when the potatoes are ready, um, you're gonna need the breadcrumbs, so you need to crush them. So you need to like get like a, a, a roller, you know, like a dough roller or a meat tenderizer or hammer and just hammer it. Or something hard that you can hammer the croutons with and make them into a breadcrumb. Um, and then uh, uh, like an egg to dip the egg in and then flour. So um, when the, I guess I'll come back when I'm, uh, when the potatoes are done and then we can move on and how to assemble the potato balls. So yeah, so I'll be back in literally just a minute because it's YouTube and I can cut away stuff. So see you in a second. <laughs> All right, so I had to put my hair up because it's getting really hot in here, but um, I boiled the potatoes and now it's time to mash them. I put salt and pepper and a little bit of milk, oat milk, cause that's all I have. And um, some uh, earth balance vegan butter in here. So we're just gonna mash this up. Now you, got, you gotta be careful and not make it too, I don't know how to describe it, too liquidy, like too thin because then you can't form the balls with it. So they still kind of got to be thick to hold the ball shape that you want. So make sure that you don't put too much milk or anything like that. I think in Kim Tai's recipe, um, she didn't put any milk in it, I don't think. I think she just mashed them, but I don't know. I just feel like the potatoes need to have, I don't know, a little bit of creaminess to it, just a tiny bit. So um, right now I'm mashing them and then um, we're gonna let this cool down because I'm not gonna handle mashed potatoes when they're this hot. Um, and then we're gonna roll them up and uh, create the balls. So just give me a minute here. Let me mash these and we'll get right back to it. Oh, just made a mess. All right, so I have an assembly, assembly line going right here. So what we're gonna do is I got my croutons here. I'm gonna be putting my flour here, my mozzarella cubes there, 
my egg wash right here. I know you can't see it, but that's what it is right now. So we're just pour that out. All I have is gluten-free flour, so we're just kind of making do. All right, so there's that. So we're gonna go ahead and put our hands into the potato. Ooh, ow, ow. Gonna roll it up like this. So it looks like this, little ball. Gonna make a, a well in there. Ooh, this is hot, hot, hot. We're gonna put two things in there. Close up the ball. Maya, stop. Ugh, I got my eating, uh, Woo! I just dropped some, oh well. So we're gonna, there we go. So here's our first ball right here. We're gonna dip it into the flour. We're gonna put it into the egg wash here. After that, we're gonna stick it into the croutons and just coat it. That way it's nice and breaded. Okay. So then your potato ball will look like this. There we go. Oop, that's falling, but this is how the potato balls look. Nice and breaded, so I put it on the plate here in front of me, and then we're just gonna keep going and making more. So what seems to be working for me is I'm putting flour on my hand so it doesn't really stick to me too much. And I'm just grabbing a handful of potato. Making a well. Put two pieces of cheese inside. Close it up, kind of like Play-Doh, really, and just kind of roll it. Roll it in the flour. So make sure we get it nice and coated. Put it in the egg wash. And then Put it in the bread crumbs here. Make sure that it's nicely coated. So then we're gonna use two hands to form the dough ball here. Make sure it looks as beautiful as possible. So we're just gonna keep going till um, we run out of mashed potatoes or we run out of something and then I have to refill it. But we're just gonna keep going till all the mashed potato is gone and then we're gonna go fry them. We're gonna move on pretty quickly with this so we can move on to the frying. All right guys, so I finally finished after forever later. So these are what the balls look like right now. So I'm gonna go put them in the um, the pan to fry, to deep fry. And um, yeah, we're gonna move on.
All right, you guys, the potato balls are done. Take a look here. I made a little pun. Don't, don't pay attention to the burnt one. There we go. Look at my potato ball pyramid. Took me forever actually. So, you, so I felt, I'm so glad that I'm finally done. But anyway, so I finished with these. So I'm gonna eat them on camera to show you how it looks on the inside. It's delicious, I think. Cause I mean, who doesn't love potato? Who doesn't love cheese? Who doesn't love breadcrumbs? So, I mean, I think this is gonna be really good. So anyway, um, I'll be right back. I just gotta um, clean up my mess and then we're gonna dig into these. All right guys, so we're finally here and I was supposed to cook something else with the potato balls that I have here. I'm not eating the whole thing. I'm just, ignore this. Um, I didn't put it in the video, but I about set the whole kitchen on fire because um, let me tell you about it. So I thought that, well, I, not I thought, I know. Sometimes the stove top, when, I, when it comes to warming up, because it's an older stove top, I usually have to preheat it, the oil, because it'll take forever to warm up if I do it right when I needed it. So I, I pre-warmed it up and I preheated it, that's the word. I preheated the, uh, the oil and when I went to put my first, the first ball, which is this charred monstrosity right here, this is not, <laughs> it's embarrassing, but this is, this charred monstrosity was i put it in there and then the oil went and i was like oh it's hotter than i thought it was and yes you're probably gonna tell me you should have you should have put the thermometer in there yeah i know i should have but i would i didn't care so then i almost like i saw a spark when the oil poured out on the burner and went and it turned off so it started freaking out and then uh but it didn't i didn't put the kitchen on fire i just turned off that burner and used the back burner so as you can see, I used the back burner. People were like, why didn't you use the front? I was like, well, that was why, because I put oil all over that burner, so I have to clean it um, after, um, after I'm done with this video. So um, I instead had some leftover General So chicken from Walmart. It's like absolutely amazing chicken. I love, I love, I love the General So chicken at Walmart. So I'm eating that today. And then I have my little concoction here. It is Hawaiian punch mixed with ginger ale <sighs> refreshing so all right so i guess you guys want to see what's in how the potato balls turned out so this is how a normal potato ball turns out okay so uh so don't don't be afraid about this pay attention to this because this is how i usually make them not like this <laughs> so here we go first bite Mmm, 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 mmm. It looks like a little moon. Mmm. 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 Okay, here we go. Oh, hot. Oh, it's so hot right now. Mmm. Oh, hot. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's good. If you hear all that noise, I'm trying to talk over it right now. Well, the dogs are eating right now. And I have my hammy in here. He wants to run on his wheel. Right now is his prime time to be up. So he's running on his wheel right now. So I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. His name is Nugget because when you see him, he looks like a little chicken nugget. Run, Nuggy, run. Run, Nug. Go, go. I should take notes from him. All right. So, let me have a bite of this General So chicken. Yum. Look at that. Yummy deliciousness. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, real good. Mm. 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 
<laughs> oh, so good. Sip, sip. Ah, delicious. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Mm hmm. Mm. The only thing is, if you guys have, if you guys um, see my previous video of when I did um, empanadas, I did empanadas macron. Um, I was telling you in that video that empanadas are usually best fresh, like off the oil. Of course, you wait a little bit. Sorry guys, uh, my timer went off because I was making brownies and I had to go take them out the oven. So sorry about that. So what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Um, oh yes, so um, I, t I said in that video that empanadas are best uh, off the fryer like because the cheese is extra gooey. So when you bite into it, it just, just stretches. I love that. So uh, same thing with the potato balls. Of course, not everybody can handle the heat. So, I mean, it's still good. Mm. But everybody's got their preferences. Mm. Oh, so good. Mmm. Mmm. That's so really good. I'm really sorry if Nug is bothering you. I would put him in the kitchen, but with me cooking in there, it got hot. And you know, hamsters are temperature sensitive. So I kept him in here to, so he doesn't get too hot. He's such a good boy. I love him. Right now the dogs are with me, like I said. They're eating their dinner, so you're listening to that too. I don't know about you guys, but when I cook, for so long, I kind of lose my hunger because I was hungry when I was making this. But now that I'm done, I kind of like lost my appetite a little. Oh, mmm, but it's so good though. So, I got a video coming up. I'm gonna buy, try to do a full face of makeup with a certain brand. Um, well, it can't be a full face because I didn't see a foundation or concealer or anything like that. So I should say a makeup look with this brand. And right now, I cannot tell you the name of it. I think it's called Starlit. I can't remember, but there's a whole bunch of stuff like that I want to try and use for a look and see how well it lasts. Cause I, me personally, I haven't heard of the brand before. I watch a lot of YouTubers and, but you know, I don't know how long this brand's been out. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot and, and it's actually relatively decently priced. Um, so we'll see because um, I know a lot of my viewers are are on a budget. They can't spend like $600 at Sephora every time they go over there. Although I wish I did because I can't personally. But I try to do 
a lot of more drugstore and all that other stuff because I know it's more accessible for a lot more people. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try to get all the things that I think I would need for the look. And we'll see how it goes from there. But it's coming. So keep an eye out for it. Mm. 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 Good. Quit playing. I'm doing a mop on here. Nugget. Nugget. Nugget doesn't stop. He just keeps going. Um. Oh. Hey, bud. Hi. I love you. Uh, uh, I'm full. Golly. All right, guys. I am stuffed. I can't eat anymore. Um, so I'd like to say I appreciate you um, watching this video. I hope you guys check out my channel. I decided I wanted to do, I said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. I am going to start putting my content up on Mondays and Thursdays. So keep an eye out on Mondays and Thursdays and I'll have content coming very soon. And, um, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Although it is a very small channel right now, I'm hoping to grow it and hopefully it'll blossom and I guys won't. I want all you guys to be a part of it, whoever you may be, if you're already a subscriber or if you're just coming onto my channel. Um, hi, my name's Abby. I love makeup and I also like to eat. As you can see, that's why I got big old arms and whatever. But um, I love makeup, I love food, and I like to appreciate both and share the love with everybody. So I uh, hopefully you guys will subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.